Okay, I'm going to keep this short. Uh, now that I saw all the three press conferences at E3, I want to give you my opinion on what I thought about the whole thing. Uh, and if I miss something, please don't flame me or write any stupid comments. I just want to give you an uh, overview of what I'm thinking right now. Um, I uh, just got done watching the uh, press conferences one after the other. And these are my thoughts, people. You know, a lot of people saying that the press conferences sucked and all that. Well, in my opinion, I think that people actually have high expectations, too high. And they're looking at it at a perspective as, as the consumer, where they should be looking at, uh, at the, from the perspective of the uh, developers and these companies. What I mean by that is that these companies, uh, Sony and Microsoft, are not going to come out with a new console right now. Okay, they're still very, very deep uh, in debt with uh, the Kinect and the Move. And if my guess, uh, if I have to bet, they would probably come out with a, a console 2014 now. Uh, maybe next year, the next E3, they'll announce a new console. But we won't be seeing a new console anytime before 2014. Uh, now, with that said, um, the only company, of course, that did give us a new console, or show a new console, explained a little bit more, was Nintendo. And I don't think that's going to do very well. And I'm going to explain. Uh, first of all, the console itself is, well, Nintendo's always been like that. You know, they cater to the younger crowd, which is fine, you know. I have nothing against that. But they also try to squeeze in uh, hardcore games such as uh, Batman, which I really think they use the uh, that controller pretty well. That uh, new controller with the touch screen. Now there is a problem that they did not announce, and that is how much this thing is going to cost. It comes with two controllers. This thing has a camera, it's motion sensitive, it has an LCD touch screen, and they're going to add two of them at, on. So if this system comes with two controllers, and each controller is about a hundred bucks, you're talking at least four hundred dollars for the system. I mean, I'm sure they're not going to be taking a, a huge loss on this um, Nintendo. So that's two really expensive controllers, and the system. I just don't know how they're going to do it uh, for less than four hundred bucks. Uh, four to five hundred dollars would be my guess where I think the uh, actual system should be around 300 but we shall see. Um, it is a Nintendo game system, and uh, Nintendo is known for having a cheaper console other than, you know, from the other two, from Sony and Microsoft. Um, as far as games go, the only thing that I was interested in, now I'm 46, the only th game that I saw interested was, uh, what was it, War Dogs or uh, Watch Dogs? And that was a game that was uh, that was shown pretty much like GTA. It was a GTA type game, but with a major twist. You could control traffic lights. You could listen in on people's conversation. You could interrupt, um, you know, cell phones. You do a whole bunch of stuff that I've never seen in a video game before. That one I thought was really incredible and something innovative. Um, all the rest. Pretty much the same. Halo 4, Gears of War, uh, Call of Duty, even Call of Duty um, Black Ops 2, even though it was taken into the future, I mean, it's going to be the same thing. But So the only two games I really thought were pretty cool was the Black Ops 2 and there's Watch Dogs or War Dogs, I forgot what they call it already, but it was that game that looked like GTA, but you can control the uh, environment. Uh, you could actually... Uh, make the street lights go out and make a, a, an immense crash and a whole bunch of other things I've never seen in a game before. That I found interesting. Um, so that's my thoughts on it. You know, everyone has high expectations about these E3 press conferences and they think they get this and they get something else. Um, you know, we just have to wait until uh, we actually see the games uh, coming out for these uh, next systems, actually. That's going to be the real, real thing. Uh, when you see the next systems coming out in 2014, maybe, then we can get excited, folks. Until then, it's going to be the same old, same old stuff. 
We're going to have uh, Halos. We're going to have Call of Duties. We're going to have Gears of Wars. You're going to have Mario Brothers rehashed. Uh, and all these games are pretty much... Yeah, they add one or two more. Um, I thought the... Uh, whatchamacallit was pretty good. Um, Laura Croft. That Laura Croft game was pretty good. That they showed. Um, that looked interesting. And a few other games. Oh, the Far Cry 3 was also very good. Um, I thought that was pretty well done. But they're going to rehash and, you know, just make sequels over and over again. And that's just my thoughts on it, people. I mean, I don't think that's a negative thing. I just think that people don't realize how much money these games cost to make. You know, you're a developer and you have like $300 million, you know, and you're putting in a couple hundred million investing in these games. You, you, you want to make sure that these games at least sell. So that's why it's hard to get a new franchise or a new IP. And that's just my uh, view on it. Anyway, uh, E3 2012. It's, uh, it's been interesting, I gotta say. I wasn't disappointed, really, because I never had high expectations to begin with. Take it easy, everyone. Be well. Bye.